All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And as it says, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing the push and work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Uh, title of this video is Does the Lord God, okay, give ultimatums? Okay. And the ultimatum uh, is, I'm going to get a couple definitions. Okay, it says, a final demand or statement of terms, the rejection of which will result in retaliation or breakdown in relations. Okay, it says, final offer, final demand, take it or leave it deal, threat. Okay, um, it says, a final proposition condition or demand especially one one whose rejection will end negotiations and cause a resort to force or other direct action okay then you have this one okay it says a demand that a person or group do something to avoid something unpleasant okay a threat in which a person or group of people are warned if they do not do a particular thing, something unpleasant will happen to them. It is usually the last or mo most extreme in a series of actions taken to bring about a particular result. Okay? So, the question is, does... The Lord, okay, give ultimatums, okay, give threats, okay. So, um, the word ultimatum, okay, means final demand or a final statement, okay. It says last possible final, okay, and it comes from, uh, ultimate okay um the last final farthest most distant or extreme okay deuteronomy 28 and 15 but it shall come to pass if you will not hearken unto the Lord thy God, if you don't, if you don't hear what he say, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Okay? And this is going towards the children of Israel. Okay? Because when the children of Israel were in Egypt, okay, and he, the Lord took them from out of the land of Egypt and gave them the law, statutes, and commandments to live by, okay, this is what he what he told them, okay, that if you don't want to listen to me, okay, this is a threat, man, okay, what are, what are the other, other uh, synonyms, okay, a warning. Okay. So the Lord basically gave the Israelites a warning. Okay. That if you don't do what he say he's going to do. Okay. That all of these curses are going to come upon you. Okay. And I'm going to go through some of the curses. Okay. To show that they actually happen, okay. One of the main ones is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord so bring you into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto you, you shall see it no more again. And there shall you be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you, okay. And that's talking about the transatlantic slave trade. Okay, when our people went into slavery. Okay. 
and the fact that we're under slavery according to you know still according to the Bible you know we're under slavery under the so-called white man okay and um you know you got other curses like the so-called black on black crime okay the uh um deadbeat fathers and mothers okay there's many other curses okay because our people didn't listen unto the Lord and the threat that he uh, gave us okay this is in the red letter right here Luke 19 and 27 these are the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus this is his words okay it says but those mine enemies right which would not that I should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me okay so those people who don't want me to listen don't don't want me to reign over them Bring them here and slay them before me. Okay? So it's either you get with it or you're going to get, get destroyed. Okay? And that's when, when the Lord comes back. Okay? The one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay? Romans 9 and uh, 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with, with God? Yahweh God forbid. For he said to Moses... I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of Yahweh that sows mercy. For the scripture says on, unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised you up, that I might sow my power in you, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Okay? When... Pharaoh had the, 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 the Israelites, okay, in slavery, okay, what did Moses say? Let my people go, okay? And guess what? Then the Lord uh, start messing up Egypt, okay? So the Lord is filled with, with ultimatums, okay? It says, therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will hearten it. Thou wilt say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? So you can't, you, the, you're going to do what the Lord wants you to do. Okay? One way or another. Okay? And, and, and it's going to be his way. Okay? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against God? Yahweh Shem Yahweh so the thing formed, say to him that formed it, why, why hast thou made me thus? Okay? And as uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have to understand that the Lord made you for him. Okay? We, we are the Lord's treasure. Okay? So what we're, what we're created to do, okay, is to serve the Lord. Okay, that that's our purpose. Okay, that that is what the Lord requires us to do. Okay, Ecclesiastes uh, twelve and thirteen. Let us hear the co conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. Because if not, guess what? We already going through it right now. Okay, you don't keep His commandments and statutes. And laws, okay, you're going to end up cursed. Okay, he says, fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Okay, and when you come into this truth, it's a whole total different uh, mindset that you have to be in as far as order go. Okay, Titus 2 and 9. Exhort servants, okay, what is a servant, man? Okay, a servant is a slave. Okay, a bond man, a man of servile uh, condition. Okay, metaphor. One who gives himself up to another's will. Those whose service is used by Yahweh Shah in extending and advancing his cause among men. Okay, it says to devote it to another to the disregard of one's own interest. 
Okay, so you putting your personal feelings aside in order for the advancement of the Lord. Okay, and and that's what the Lord wants, man. Okay, when you when you do when somebody gives an ultimatum, do this or or else. They want you to do that, and once you do that, okay, and they're they're happy, okay. I also seen another definition, okay. Where it says something about uh, what what uh, an ultimatum comes from a, a higher power. Okay, which is which that's the truth, man. Okay, ultimatums come from higher powers. Okay. Here we go. Uh, did you know an ultimatum is usually issued by a stronger power to a weaker one? We don't have no power, man. Okay, it says, since it wouldn't carry much weight if the one giving the ultimatum couldn't back up his threat. And guess what? The Lord, When the Lord gives something or says something, okay, who who, who, who would deny that? Okay? In the book of um, Amos... I want to say it's the third chapter. Okay. Amos 3 and 8. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken, who can but prophesy? Okay. So the Lord said what he, what, what he wants. Okay. And, it, and, and, and what he said and what he wants, he wants you to fear him, man. Okay? Fear what he can do unto you. Because cause he can destroy you, man. Okay? What the scriptures say? Don't don't fear him that, that can kill the body. Okay? But fear him that, that can kill your body and cast your, 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 your what did it say? Soul into hell, man. Okay? Uh, Matthew 10 and 28 and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather he fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell okay and we're we're currently in that hell right now okay okay so is Titus 2 and 9 exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters okay and to please them well in all things not answering again okay then uh the so-called white man used it one this scripture okay amongst others okay to, to 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 say that our people were supposed to be obedient unto them okay where in reality we're supposed to be obedient unto yahweh by some and the lord has certain men that you have to be obedient on to. Okay, that's in this truth. Okay? And when when certain brothers say something, okay, you're not supposed to answer again. Okay, it says not purloining, purloining, but sowing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of Yahweh our Savior in all things. Because the Lord, this is that's what makes the makes the lord happy man okay adorning what he said okay it says for the grace of y'all by some y'all side that brings salvation has appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust because that's what the lord is against okay unrighteous bullshit okay the lord created us to be uh a special people unto himself okay and if you don't want to do that, okay, if you don't want to be a, 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 a son of God, okay, you're going to get destroyed. It says we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Christians aren't doing that, okay? 
It says, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Yahweh Sha, okay? It says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. So guess what? We are able to give ultimatums. Okay? It says, let no man despise thee. Okay? Because we have this power given to us from the Lord. Okay? The, the Lord... The Lord gave the uh the 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 elect, okay, Lord willing we are of the elect, okay, the 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 ability to do the things that they do. Okay? Because it's our job to go out here and teach this word. Okay, because the Lord is the is the scripture says, okay. I'm going to go back to it, okay, in Amos 3 and uh, 8, the lion have roared, who can who, who will not fear, okay, so the Lord is, is roaring, uh, roaring, man, okay, it's like it. the Lord is roaring, okay, the lion, the Lord, the Lord God have spoken, who can but prophesy, okay, Luke, 10 and 19 but behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you okay so when you go out here and you teach this word you're supposed to believe in this man okay nothing nothing is gonna gonna hurt you man okay if you got the Lord fighting for you man the one that created everything man okay why be scared, man, when, when the Lord controls that, man? Okay? Continuing on, Romans 12 and 1, and this is what makes the Lord happy. Okay? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, by some Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, by some Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Okay? So if you're a slave... This is what the Lord said. Go out there on the highway and hedges and bring in my fruit. Okay? When you when you done, continue to do what I said to do. Okay? This is your service unto the Lord. Okay? It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God Yahweh by some Yahweh okay see what the word will is Strong's G 2307 Thelema 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 okay and it says what one wishes or has determined to be done shall be done okay of the purpose of God to bless mankind through Yahweh of what God wishes to be done by us so that will is the ultimatum. Okay? Do this or else, man. Okay? Do this and what I have pleasure in. Okay? Or get destroyed. Okay? It says commands, precepts, will. It say choice, but you don't have no choice in this in this this truth, man. Okay? It says inclination, desire, pleasure. Okay? Because when you're doing these things that the Lord desire us to do, it pleases the Lord. Okay? And and you're you're basically sacrificing, okay, your life, your livelihood onto the Lord. Okay, because that this is living, not this world. Okay? And and what does the Lord when you go go through the scriptures, okay, as the Lord loves sacrifices man okay 
The Lord loves sacrifices. Okay? I believe that's probably in the um the the apocrypha. Where it talks about uh the Lord require a sacrifice, okay? not sure what this is blow whether I can find it you know but um second Corinthians 2 and 15 for we are unto Yahweh by some a sweet savior of Yahweh Shah and them that are saved and and them that perish okay So basically, if you're in this truth, the Lord wants you to do what he said, okay? And that's pretty much the point, man, of the of the lesson, man, okay? So with that, man, you know, I want to say uh, Salawam.